Hi, everyone. I'm going to show you an app called Stop Motion Studio. And I know that the angle of the camera and the distance that you are um, from the iPad is not ideal, but this is just to give you an idea of how the app would work. So what I'm going to do is show you a couple different ways that you might use the app. So stop motion animation is one of those things that you can apply to any area that you teach, whether it's science or math or maybe you have kindergarten through college. Stop motion animation is one of those um, tools that you can use to have students show you what they've learned. And so here's an idea of how you could use it. If you work with younger students, pre-readers, you could use it to spell words. Um, for example, you could do rhyming words or words that end in the same letters. And so the way that this works is you have um, basically a blank canvas in front of you and then you can use basic letters to manipulate. What you do is you put the letters on the screen and you can choose to animate all of them or just one. So in this example I'm just going to use different beginning sounds with the same ending sound. What you do is you take a picture and then you move your item very slowly and then you keep taking pictures and I always tell the students that 30 pictures is probably a good number so now I'm going to go ahead and change out my letters and I'm going to move each one just a smidge and I'm kind of doing this fast so you get the idea it's not going to be the best animation And then I could just keep going if I had other words, or excuse me, if I had other letters they wanted to throw in here, I could throw those in there too. The idea is that you simply take a picture and then move whatever object it is you want to move um, very in very small increments and take a picture. When you're done, it actually creates the video for you. I'm going to move the camera so that you can see um, this a little bit better. So I'm going to play the animation for you so you can see how it works. So in just a few seconds, I was able to make a quick stop motion, sorry about the camera, animation. And that was just a simple use of the tool. If I wanted, I could do, like I said, math or any science experiments or explanations of systems. I even have these storyboards that I have. They're just felt boards. And I have the students create using felt characters. And it works exactly the same way. You put your items on the screen and then you animate what you want. I'll just do this so you can see. You animate what you want to move. So I could actually have the characters in a story moving along. I can even create dialogue if I wanted, I could incorporate letters with my story and, and words to um, make it a little bit more detailed. I can, what I did is created, um, I laminated dialogue boxes and then gave the students Sharpies, um, dry erase Sharpies. And this cloud kind of gives you an example. And then what they could do is they could write out dialogue and then put it into the story um, right inside their stop motion animation. So this tool in my mind uh, allows the students to be super creative and 
uh, shows you that they understand whatever concept it is you're wanting them to cover.